This is a canaf plant, a fiber crop that's closely related to cotton. Canaf has been used for hundreds of years to produce twine and rope, but it was only in the last 50 years or so that it was determined that canaf was an excellent source for a large range of paper products, including newsprint. More research in the 1990s revealed the plant's suitability for other uses, including as an absorbent. From an organic absorbent standpoint, our product is, is the most absorbent product out there, out there on the market. It, uh, it, you know, there are other products, but one of the great advantages our product has over some of the, the typical, say, cotton-based products is our product is hydrophobic, so it will float on water. Uh, it will absorb the oil and keep floating on water. So. Uh, from, a, from a natural product, it uh, has some advantages some of our competitors don't have. And one, another one being it has a large amount of the, the indigenous microbes in it also. Cleaning up an oil spill using Canaf is a good environmental solution. It can be flown on with a crop duster or helicopter and it will absorb the oil. Naturally occurring microbes break down the oil and since the Canaf floats, you can vacuum it up or skim it off. Canaf is a plant that most people may not have heard about, but it is used to produce many types of eco-friendly materials. These materials are already being used by most of us unknowingly on a daily basis. From paper to furniture and from biofuel to textiles, Canaf has been grown for over 3,000 years and can be harvested in just four to five months, alleviating the shortage of forest-based raw materials and countering deforestation. Globally, the demand for natural fibers such as canal is growing at a rate of 10 to 15 percent annually, especially for using in composite materials. In Malaysia, kanaf is fast becoming the country's third industrial crop after palm oil and rubber. After just first being introduced in 2010 as an alternative to tobacco, kanaf is historically used as a cordage crop for rope, twine, and sackcloth and its commercial uses have evolved to such uses as absorbents, paper products, building materials, and animal feed. So what are some of the advantages of canal? It has a greater potential for replacing synthetic fiber, such as fiberglass. The use of canal fiber can provide mechanical properties, and it has a high tensile strength, resulting in lightweight and eco-friendly polymer composites. Canaf absorbs more carbon dioxide from the atmosphere than any other crop known to man. Every hectare of canaf consumes 30 to 40 tons of carbon dioxide during each growing cycle. During a single growing cycle, each hectare of canaf consumes the same amount of carbon dioxide which 20 cars would emit in one year. This makes it eligible for reclamation of international carbon credits. So why is canaf better than tree fiber. Canaf contains 12.5 lignin, while most trees used in paper making contain 25% lignin. This lower lignin content translates to lower energy consumption and lower chemical use in the pulping process, particularly when it comes to bleaching the pulp. Synthetic materials used in sanitary napkins and disposable baby diapers can be replaced with canaf fibers with an additional 
herbal finish. The developed napkins provide better skin protection and are also eco-friendly due to their biodegradable nature. Most of the population is unaware of the disposability of sanitary napkins and disposable baby pampers after usage. Reports claim that these items, once thrown in the environment, take around 100 years for decomposition. For additional information on how to develop a canal industrial complex in your vicinity, please contact S.A. and Associates. Oh, yeah,